Intentions never accomplish anything. I'm Bill Snodgrass. Welcome to episode 197. If you're if you're coming just to, if you're coming just to check the weather in Northwest Indiana today, it was it is 28 degrees. My eyes started watering as soon as I hit the icon for the weather app. years I've taken a lot of sunrise pictures and I usually I usually caption them something like uh, a, a time to make a fresh start or let the sun rise on your dreams and getting things done and usually there's some vector within my captions on sunrise pictures that says it's time to get going it's time to do something and and that's what we're gonna be exploring in this episode I've, I've got a, I got a credit part of the, the motivation, inspiration of this video to uh, a, a YouTube friend, uh, Brian Vlasich, that uh, just did a video called "Everything Is Is Going to Be Different," and, I, and I've put it up here for you. Um, this video, he says, you know, he's been intending to do things, never got around to doing, and I'm intending to drink that coffee in just a minute. Um, but the the idea that I have things that I intend to do, but I always just keep putting them off, stands in the way of us reaching the things that we want to reach. We've got to get past the intention stage to the doing stage. I was going to do it. Uh, I'm about to start. I just, you know, fixing to, fixing to get this thing done and then, I'll, then I will. I meant to get it done. Your, your intentions are not actions. Intending to do something is not the same as doing something. I, I, intentions are like somewhere between you recognize that something needs to happen and you make a plan to do it. And then you don't just stop with the plan. Intentions are not actions. If you live in your intentions, you're always going to live in the, 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 the landscape of what might could have someday been, but it isn't. It isn't done because you only intended to do it. You can probably tell that Brian's uh, video kind of got me, got me riled up this morning. Riled up is, is a really, really good word. Riled up. I'm riled up. I, I don't even know. That's probably probably from my growing up roots. I don't know. Um, when I was probably in elementary school, my, my dad went to a, a, a conference, a work conference thing with Zig Ziglar. And Zig Ziglar said that People don't do anything because they don't have around to it. They, 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 they always are going to say, well, I'll do this once I get around to it, once I get around to it. So Zig Ziglar created these little wooden squares. They were round, like, a, like about the size of a quarter. And he wrote on it the word to it, T-U-I-T. And they gave it out to everyone in the conference and said, now you've got around to it. You can go ahead and start. I, I think that was a value that, that really, really excited my father because he came back and, and it, was, it was it was one of those things that he he really put some time and effort into sharing what he had learned with us as kids my sister myself my my brother and and, and it was one of those things that, that made a, a, a an impression on me we don't just we don't just say we're going to do something when we and we and we delay and we delay and we delay we have to we have to get to the action part of the plan. We'll talk about that a little bit more probably uh, at lunchtime because I got some things I have to get around to now that I, I need to get ready. What, what do we do to go from I've, I've, I'm somewhere between my intention and my plan and then now I want to move to I got it done. So that, that's what we're going to pick up on in the next recording 
uh, moment, segment, place, whatever, during my lunch, when I'm eating my crackers and drinking my tea. So, see ya. I'm going to eat my protein bar and drink my coffee now. Next time, I'm, I'm not always eating. I just happen to record when I'm on my free time. I got 20 minutes before uh, the meeting today, so I'm going to use that 20 minutes to get ready for the meeting. So, I keep saying so, like I got something else to say, and, and I'm actually kind of done. So, so, I will, you know, catch up, catch up with you at lunchtime. I, I did the head nod. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Well, we got lunchtime going here, and uh, I thought I would thought I would kind of draw the meaningful message of this video to an end. Here's what differentiates between intentions and actions, and this is this is going to be one of those moments where I'm going to say this, and you're going to go, "Well, of course." Well. I can't believe, you know, of course. You're, you're not going to be surprised. An intention stands there. It's like, I really think, you know, I, I really need to lose weight, uh, clean my camera lens, uh, check the batteries, uh, mow the yard. I really need to. Intention. I really want to. I really, I have the intention of doing this thing. Then, then there becomes the phase where you start planning. You start planning. And then the, the, the tipping point, the plan is only a plan up to the point that you schedule it and it becomes an action. You schedule it. Now the schedule might be like you're keeping your heads like, I really need to get some this cleanser I use in the bathroom. I really need to get it. I really need to get it. I, I intended yesterday, I intended to get some. I intended to get the bathroom cleanser. Guess what? I didn't get it. I forgot and didn't make it onto my schedule. I intend to do that today and on my way home, I have photography club today. So after photography club is over, on my way home, I'm gonna go to the, the store and I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the cleanser. That's, that's how you go from intention to action. Intentions alone, nothing. Intentions plus a plan plus scheduling it, now you're gonna accomplish something. Accomplishments come when the intention gets scheduled. And between the intention and the schedule is a plan. And the plan can be complex or the plan can be I'm going to go to the store, park, go inside, get the, you know, I, I'm not going to write out a, a complex plan that ultimately means I went to the store and bought some cleanser. I am going to write out a complex plan that says I'm going to move to another state and find a new job. That is a complex plan that's going to require a lot of thought and effort. I'm not really planning, I don't have the intention to do that, I, I was just using that as an example. If you have no intention of doing something, then you obviously don't have a plan, and if you don't have a plan, obviously you're not going to schedule something that doesn't exist. The difference between an intention and, and an accomplishment is that you go through the planning and you, and you schedule it. Wow, the brilliance, the brilliance, I told you you weren't going to be surprised. Uh, you, may, you may have just not connected all those dots. Even though you knew it in your head, you, you may have not connected those dots. Um, photography club today. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm shooting this on Thursday. All right, let's bring this episode to a close. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications. Leave me a comment, a question, a suggestion, an idea, any kind of response. I love interacting with you down in the comment section of the videos. So please, please um, leave me a comment. That's all I got for this one. I will see you in the next one. Hey, I just want to bounce back in real quick for a, like a little technical tip for some, some of the folks in No Small Creator, we uh, have a Facebook group. And one of the things that has come up uh, recently about is like forgetting to turn your microphone on. I have made it like a new, a new procedure in my, in my recording 
to turn the microphone on before I plug it into the camera. So then I know at a glance, if it's plugged in, I turned it on. And so far, I've been doing this for a couple of uh, weeks. I've been doing that for about two or three weeks. I'm probably, you know, about 90% not messing up when I do that, when I, when I, maybe 95%. I don't know how many, if I've made that many sample videos. So I turn the microphone on and then plug it in. This is just like a, a little way of staying on top of that microphone being on.